So welcome back to Mama's Garden, you guys. I came out here to clean out the garden. Me and my mother um, was fixing up her um, peppermint area because a lot of the peppermint had came out. Like they were growing crazy out of the, um, the yard. And so we're trying to straighten up. And I don't know if you guys remember this, but I um, planted these potatoes, these store-bought potatoes, um, three weeks ago. And look at them. Like, they then bushed out. And let me show y'all the other one. This one right here. Bushed out, y'all. They didn't even give me enough time. This is the other one. These are the purple ones. But they didn't even give me enough time to add more soil in there. Look at that. Look in there. It needs soil. It's like a whole bunch of greens. So I'm going to add some soil in here. I'll be right back. Alright. I'm just going to try my best to get some of the soil inside this pot. I'm doing this so the potatoes will be able to grow in here and so that I can get more potatoes because if there's not enough soil in here oops I broke one it's not if there's not enough soil in here the potatoes won't grow all right you guys so I got a good amount of soil in there you can see soil now um I really wish that I would have caught it in time and started adding soil as it was growing up. But it's better late than never. There goes that. Next, I added soil to this. That's the purple potatoes. Yes. And then I added some soil into this one. So, I didn't really add anything else to the soil. I uh, just threw some soil onto the top. But yes, this is that. And also, you guys, so tell me why my mom has had this mulberry plant. Well, she has two of them. <clears throat> my mom has two mulberry, mulberry plants, trees behind her house. And they have just been going to waste. Like, they're all over this ground. Like, they're all over the ground. Everywhere. They're everywhere. And she has another tree right there. And... She's been living here for over six years, and not once have we touched these mulberries. Like, we didn't even know where they were. We don't really touch anything that we're not sure about, but I have posted this on a gardening group and asked a few other people, and they said that these are definitely mulberry plants, trees. <laughs> so my mom got her a whole Ziploc bag, and she said, hey, look, every time this thing wobbles, something falls. But she got her a whole Ziploc bag, and she's about to go make her something with these bad boys. Look at that. Look at that. Excuse my nails. Of course, I was in the garden, but look at that. Tell me those are not mulberries. Those are. I was kind of, I was kind of skeptical at first to eat them. I was literally nibbling like, you know, because you can't put everything in your mouth. Because I'm kind of scared, you know. But you're kind of scared to eat them? Yeah. Well, they're they're um, mulberries. The mulberries. They're mulberries. The, you you don't got mulberries. The, Grandma got a berry tree. Who put mulberries in here? I also wanted to show you guys these from the um, mulberry tree. I decided I wanted to see if I could propagate one, um, not through water, but I think that's what it's called propagate. 
I, I wanted to see if I could make my own little mulberry plant from a mulberry plant. So, you know, just get a little cut in. But I want to see if the, um, this is going to root out first. And then I'll cut it like probably from here and stick it in its own little pot. All I did was cut a piece from up here and up here and took like thin little strips all around that same little area. I did put root and powder on two of them because I have three of them that I plan on cutting out. And I put root and powder on two of them and one of them I left bare without any root and powder. So there goes one right here. There goes another one right there. And then there goes my third one. It's a nice little branch. This one curves just a tiny bit, but when I put it in the ground, I'll put it up straight. Um, this one right here, it's a nice size, but this is a perfect size one. The tip is already cut off though, but still, this is perfect. I'm hoping it turns out great because the last time I tried to get, um, to make my own tree from cutting, I didn't do it well. I actually rushed the job. I just do it straight in the ground with root powder. So this time I'm going to try a different method and hopefully it works. Um, although we won't do a whole bunch of gardening, I am trying to get my mom's garden together. I do want it to look like something. So I am still going to be putting some work in here, but it just won't be too much too many plants going in here i tell myself that now you guys i might <laughs> i might mess around and bring some things in here but anyways um we do have a lot of old greens that's going to seed we have some in the front and some in the back these are the collard greens that my mom has had in the same spot for about three years now um collard greens no cabbage yep cabbage they've been in the same spot for three years and it's not giving up like they'll grow um, cabbage heads and then they'll start growing seeds so we're not gonna pull that out we're gonna let it do its thing it's in the corner it's not bothering anybody and then we have this herb garden of, of course after we transplanted planted everything it looked like it was dying at first and then they started to flourish so this is it flourishing this is the Italian the Italian oregano Italian oregano um and it is definitely thriving look you guys every where you turn there's new pieces coming and these are heads so this thing's gonna vine out it yes it vines this thick this thick herb like it vines out so as it grows i'm gonna attach it to the the gate and let it um vine up there the rosemary is doing great we had this last year maybe even the year before that this is the one from the previous year like i cut off all the heads because it looks like it's not gonna come back to life but i'm gonna leave it there it's not bothering me um these are green onions from what's that an onion or garlic i can't remember but yes we need to go ahead and start chopping these pieces off and using them it's gonna start to flower soon so i'll probably make me a potato or something um what's that sage this thing right here is actually doing way more than I thought that it would. Like, it's doing real good. It's doing better than I thought it would. Um, yeah, look at that. That's a lot. And what's this? The parsley. The parsley wasn't too happy. It did go to seed. It didn't like the transplant. It's fine. It's fine. Yeah, that one, it was not having it. I do want to get more herbs in here. I don't know what else, you guys. Tell me what other herbs I should put in here. It's not a lot of a, a lot of space, but my mom can easily just come out and get her herbs, you know. So, yeah, let me know what to put here. These are some of the things that I got from Walmart yesterday. I got that on sale for, I think, $3. So beautiful. We, we got, like, four of those for $3. And we got some peppers, I think. Yes, I think it was like a red and an orange or some, something. Yellow and a red. But you guys, as I was cleaning out the weed that was in here, I found these two lovely boys. I don't know what they are. There's something of the melon tree, right? Well, something that vines. That's what it looks like. I don't know, but I know I've grown this before. But they are growing. This is a weed. Oh, let me pull the right stuff. This is a weed. That is a weed. I'm gonna rip that off. But yes, these two bad boys. I don't know what they are. And you know what? It looks like some more of them. Um, I don't know, maybe, I don't know, we'll see. But it looks like some more of them are coming out. I'm excited. I threw some random seeds in here before 
And I just don't know what the heck they were, but they're coming out. Um, like I said, I'm gonna go ahead and plant these peppers here. Where is my shovel? Right here. Okay. Um, I'm really not gonna do anything special, you guys, like I normally do. I'm just gonna plop them in there and give them some space. We're not really growing too much this year, unless um, we get some for free. But this year, I'm not really investing too much into a lot of these plants. Um, just not feeling it this year. Well, I would love to plant, but it's just, I got so much other things to focus on, so many other things to focus on. So, unfortunately, what we have is what we're gonna grow. And so if we happen to get things randomly, then that's what we'll go by, okay? So this is our lunchbox orange. And I'm gonna plant our red bell sweet pepper. Let me slide you guys over. I'm probably gonna, yeah, I'll give it some space. I'm probably gonna pluck the bottom leaves. All right, so there they go. I also have some, um, what's this? Some crimson sweet watermelons that I'm gonna plant in the back. I'm probably gonna put it in the back of this so they can vine up on the gate. Um, we were just so happened to be in food line. I'm not food line. We just so happened to be in Walmart, and we got them. They were there, so we're gonna put them against this so it can trellis up the gate. Okay, so I've gone ahead. Oh, wait, let me label them. So I've gone ahead and put in my watermelon. There goes one, two, three, and four. I've gone ahead and put them in. I'm going to give them some time to get acclimated without here because they've already been outside. They just haven't been in the dirt. <laughs> so... Now it's time that I find a pot for me to put these beauty, these lovelies in. I'm actually probably gonna um, cut this one out. It's a baby. I'm probably gonna cut this out and try to propagate it. It's so pretty. But I'm gonna cut out, propagate it, and probably take it home. Yeah. This is getting a little bit too much for this area, so I got to take it out. <laughs> Our peach tree, it's looking healthy, but and you guys see a few peach buds over there. There, um, It's not too many, but a few right there. It's not too many. A lot of them are falling off the tree. These are all the little babies we put to the side. That's They're dying. That's just about all of it by the time that... By the time that the good gets going, it's going to be nothing left on this plant, this tree. So that sucks. Um, my mother's peppermints. Look at this, you guys. This looks so good on the video. But um, look at that beautiful thing. This is my mom's spearmint. I'm probably going to get me some and put it in my tea, you guys. She has a whole bunch. We just finished going through this whole thing and clearing out the weeds that was in here well as much of the weeds as we could find um these these this this whole area right here just keeps giving it gives and it gives and it gives and it never stops as you guys know that that um peppermints can become invasive 
So it's really best to just have it in a pot unless you really consume a whole bunch of peppermint. But my mom does, she barely uses these peppermints. Somebody come take these out our hand, off our hands. But she does have two different kinds. She has spearmint and she also have chocolate mint. Which is what this is, chocolate mint. Um, she loved these, these are her favorite. The spearmint are my favorite. Um, is that a bug? Get up out of here, sir. But I'll let you stay there for a little bit, but when I get done, you're coming out. <laughs> but we also had to clear this spot up because they were coming out the gate. I still got a lot more cleaning to do, you guys. I'm not looking forward to it, but I do, like I've literally, I've been out here, um, <laughs> I've literally been out here all day. It's Mother's Day, you guys. Happy Mother's Day, ladies. But I've been out here all day. Um, weeding is my osa, so I enjoy doing it. Uh, it gives me time to just become one with nature. No, it gives me time just to, to feel good. You know, my, my me time. This is my me time, picking weeds. Sounds crazy, doesn't it? Whatever. Do well, I look crazy? But... Yeah, we did put some, my, my son loves him some um, peppermint as well. So we put some in his own little garden. He has some peppermint in there. So we're just waiting for them to root out at the bottom. Did I get the ones that were rooted? I think I already got the ones that were rooted and just put it in there. So we're, we're waiting for them to get happy in here and multiply so he can have as many as he'd like as well. These are his um, carrots, if I'm not mistaken. They're the ones that went to, that's gonna go to seed. So we're gonna leave that there and let him understand that. Um, you know when things go to seed, he'll see that. Uh, the strawberries, I'm thinking about taking them out of here. They're not that happy in here. Like there's a lot here, but they're not gonna get that big. It's gonna stay small. And this is the only grape plant that we have that's, that survived. The other ones weren't really doing too well, but this looks great. It's amazing, it's growing well. Let me see if I can see what kind it is. Hmm. No, what kind are you? It's a grape. I'll figure you out sooner or later. Guys, I completely forgot about this sunflower from last year. We had grew this huge sunflower from last year. Um, I wanna see if... From the thunderstorm? Um, yeah, when we did have a thunderstorm. But I want to see if these heads are going to give me anything. Look at that. It was a huge head. Like, it's bigger than my hand, you guys. It's huger. It, it used to be huger than that. But I wonder if there's anything in here. Are you able to open yours up? I'll open it. You can't open it? Look, y'all, I just cracked it. There's an actual seed in there. So, I am going to stick them in the ground. What we're gonna do is we're gonna break this apart. Hold on, let me try to put this on a tripod. Okay, so make this easier. I got a tray. Of course, I got it outside in the garden, so it's not pretty. But, you got some? Let's come over here and let's show them how we doing this yeah. thing. Dang it, dang, dang. It's a lot of them. Oops. Ooh, I just wasted some. But look at that. And who we'll know? Later. You know, last year I cut the heads off of um some stuff, some of these sunflower seeds that we grew, yeah. and I wasted my time doing this. <laughs> I could have just waited until I was ready to use it. But look at this! All I'm doing is just brushing my hands up against it like that. Okay. I had a doubt where you're gonna use all of this. I'm gonna stop because <laughs> that's a lot. Wait, what was he? Look. Still a whole bunch and there's still a lot dropping. Let me. It's still a whole bunch left. Exactly, and I doubt we're gonna have that many. I mean, if your dad wants some, we could put some in his um yard. You know that little middle area. Not not in the yard because yeah, he gonna be like what? He don't want no what no the bee, big. Oh bees. yeah, the bees. Yeah, and your sister don't like them. Yeah, no, she's scared of them. Yeah. Even 60 flies. That's crazy. Okay, so this is what we got so far. And we only used like 10, oh, no, wait, 25%, if that, yep. of the um the sunflower. But look at that. Oh, you guys. And it's nice and plump. All right, let me go find somewhere to put these.
I put the sunflower seeds in here. I was going to put it in the ground. I still might end up putting some in the ground, but next weekend, because right now I got to go. But I just put them in here, scattered them, scattered them in here. And when they get to a certain height, I'm just going to transform into the ground. And that's the plan and I'm sticking to it. We are finally done. Right, Jonathan? Yeah. <laughs> We're finally done. So we put the, uh, we transferred the, um, plant from here to a bigger pot but it's it looks kind of funny in this pot maybe we might go get a bigger one i don't know i did take the babies and i put them in there to see if it'll grow um i should have put it in water to propagate it but hey all about taking chances here so i'm gonna drench that in water as well as these two and that is gonna be the end this is the end of mama's video you guys i will see you guys next time peace 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 <laughs>